Welcome to Revelation Church Online. We pray you will be blessed and encouraged by today's message. To get the latest videos as soon as they're released, make sure to hit the red subscribe button and bell icon in the lower right hand side of your screen. Now here's today's word. So we're going to study this morning a passage which is usually you, nobody speaks about it. And I wonder if this young man is going to ask us one day, why did you not talk to me about this passage? How come you never mentioned me, you know, over all those years? <laughs> I'm teasing, of course. But uh, we're going to study this word. Do not be troubled, for his life is in him. You know, we, as you know, we're going to be here. I'm talking about our lives. To the strongest of us, maybe 100 years. And I, I'm being nice. I'm being very, very nice. Some of us, we will be called when we six, seven. Some of us will be called when we're 18. Some of us when we're 30. Some of us when we're 50. Some of us... My uncle just celebrated his 100 years old. Uh, but his young brother, my dad, died at 90. So when are we going to go? Uh, so we're going to be here roughly about 100 years. Okay? So the life that we are living is not for here much. Of course, don't get me wrong now, yes, but I heard about the American dream, I heard about uh, a beautiful house with a, on the ocean, and yes, does God want you to have that? Yes, yes, He wants you to have that. But your life is not contained in this hundred years span. God has thought for you to be with Him Forever. And it's a strange concept for us because, well, what do you mean forever? How is it possible that we can be with some, you know, in a place forever? And, and now, you, 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 there's a guilt. There's a guilt in some of you here. And you, you wonder where your, let's say, your your brother or your sister or your, your dad, your mom, you're wondering where they are. And you wonder if they made that transition. God is so, he's, he, he doesn't have love, he is love himself. And he knows how to speak to you even in your deathbed. He knows how to say, you know what, you rejected me there, you rejected me here. You, would you be willing to come with me now? And the Lord revealed that to me years ago when I was doing a funeral for a, someone you don't know, and, and years. And, and, and that person was an atheist, didn't believe in God, was treating the, the kids the way he wanted. And, and I was about to do the funeral. And I was sort of, uh, you know, wow, you know, you didn't receive God. I was about to do that you know, as I was writing it. And God said, what do you know? And I said, how do you know? And, and then I repented. I, I changed my mind. I, I went, like, Lord, I'm so sorry. I, I was accusing that person. God said, leave the judgment to me. Let me do it. You will decide later on if that person decides to follow me or not. So, and I repented, let me tell you that. I changed my mind. And so if you feel guilty this morning, if you feel like, oh, my God, what are you saying, Pastor Cam? You know? So we don't know where that person, is. where did he go? Where is that one? I don't know where he is. I don't know where my grandmother is. I don't know where my grandfather is. Used to be cursing all day long. Don't put a judgment on that, because you are not God, and I'm not God. Amen. Amen? So we're going to study this morning uh, this uh, strange parable—no parable, but a strange event that happened to that kid 
Do not be troubled, for his life is in him. Oh, you're going to have to follow me. <laughs> so turn with me to the book of Acts, chapter 20, verse 6. If you don't have your Bible, it's right there. We sailed from Philippi after the days of unleavened bread and came to them at Troas within five days. And there we stayed seven days. On the first day of the week, which is what? What was the first day of the week? Sunday. Amen. When we were gathered together to break bread, Paul began talking to them, intending to leave the next day, and he prolonged his message until midnight. So tonight we're going to be at one o'clock. Um, Melanie, no. <laughs> <laughs> you'll be going home, and, and uh, can you imagine? So now the, the <laughs> don't you know when the preacher all of a sudden decided to prolong his message? I love that uh, until midnight. So this is probably like eight in the morning, maybe ten, ten in the morning, and he decided to talk until midnight. There were many lamps in the upper room uh, around midnight, around maybe 11.30. And, and they gathered together since in the morning, you know, since, since, since 9, 10, 11 o'clock in the morning. They listened to the same person. So there were many lamps in the upper room where we were gathered together as a church. And there was a young man named Eutychus. Is that the right? You guys know better than me. How do we say that word? Huh? You said it right. Huh? Said it right. Whoa. <laughs> Sitting on the windowsill, sinking into a deep sleep. Now, a lot of people would be offended. A lot of people would be, oh my God, go wake him up. He's sleeping. No, no, no Paul. As Paul kept on talking, he was overcome, that kid, by sleep and fell down from the third floor and was picked up dead. Whoa. So now the preacher is, is teaching life. You're teaching life. You are life. And then one of your congregants dies. On your preaching. That is what's going on there. Now, I can imagine, let's transport that. Let's bring the story from the year 30 to the year 2022, 21, sorry. I can imagine the f six ambulances in the front, 10 doctors coming in, uh, the police, web, Dallas web. Um, and they, they're about to wrap him out and, and, and to bring him to the morgue without the preacher know anything. Okay? Are, are you agreeing with me? Do you agree with me? Okay. But Paul went down and fell upon him. Here the word fell is the word pipto. Pipto, that, that's that famous word I told you guys on uh, Mark chapter 3, verse 10. Which is, you know, and as they were about to come to Jesus in order to be what? To be healed, they were peeped upon. Meaning, from the Greek, I'm not saying this to impress you, but the, peep, the word peeped is they were falling before him under the power. And it could have been, you could, you could have fallen in the, front, in the back, you could have fallen in the front, you could have fallen in the side. Uh, upside down. And that's the same word here. And they pipped toe, and he pipped toe. In other words, he went down, and he probably kneeled down next to him. This is what he means. Uh, and after embracing him, he said, do not be troubled, for his life is in him. How could it be? You're falling from a third floor. I mean, you're going to feel You're going to feel we will be right back with the conclusion of this message after this brief announcement. 
Here's how you can honor the Lord with your giving, as well as sow into the ministry of Revelation Church. To give by text, text any amount to 84321. To give online, visit revelationchurchny.com give. You can mail checks or cash to 14 Bellmead Avenue in Smithtown, New York. Please make all checks out to Revelation Church. When he had gone back, back up, he had broken the bread and eaten, he talked with them a long, a long while until daybreak. Tomorrow morning, <laughs> let's bring breakfast, guys. And I want two, three eggs with uh, uh, cereal for me, coffee. So we're going to speak until tomorrow morning, guys. I, I, wanted to, I would like to see today how many people I really do cut me off here from here. But back then, that was not the case. And you heard the stories about China sometimes. They, they have no Bible. They preach the, the word the entire day. I'm not making the case for here, of course. They are preaching the word the entire day. And sometimes, and I've been to, to meetings uh, uh, you know, on the board of some other church, where a person was making a case not to go to have a service no longer than one hour. I'm not going to mention the name or the person, but we were there debating that. And we finally got it to an hour and a half. The service. In a Revelation Church, we have an hour, an hour and a half, two hours. But if God says to me, you're going to speak until tomorrow morning, I guarantee I will be speaking like that, but it, it, it's not the case. But the person here today, they're making a case, literally a one hour service. That includes the worship, that includes the announcements, the preaching, and then, no, there's no healing, sorry. Um, that's basically what, what they were preaching, they, they were <coughs> telling us, and, and me, I, I was appalled. I'm like, how could it be? How could you speak one hour? And when I say speak, I, I, I'm, I'm talking about the entire service. So he talked to them a long while until they break. I mean, that's amazing. The energy that guy had. And Paul. They took away the boy alive and they were greatly comforted. Would you not? But Jesus heard this. Let's jump to uh, John chapter 11. But when Jesus heard this, then Lazarus died. He said, this sickness is not to end in death, but for the glory of God, so that the Son of God may be glorified by it. Sometimes the Lord will reach out and he will resurrect you from the dead. Oh my God, what are we talking about? I know if I believe that, I had that in my own family. I, I, I had my, 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 two, my two parents being resurrected from the dead. I don't know if you understand that. Oh, yeah, it's because of you, Pastor Graham, and me, us. No, the, the, the reason why it happened, because the Lord said so. My, my, my dad would have died in, in the 80s. But God said, no. No, no, he, he's going to resurrect it. Uh, Joe, our friend Joe. How many times, how many times did he get? Oh my gosh. How many times did we pick, pick him up? In, in 2019, it said the last vaccination was said it's a miracle that he's alive. Yeah. So, so we, we know we, we're going to, in the name of the Lord, that is, we keep you alive. Those who attend the church will be kept alive. I don't know if you understand that. And, and I'm not saying God is mad, as a, but if you, if you come to this church, you will be kept alive. Amen. This is the promise, and this is the heritage of the sons and the daughters of God. Amen? Amen? So my, my mom was the same. My, my mom was 
she, she died one, one day, and, and, and they say, oh, sorry, no pulse. No. And I, whoa, what do you mean? No pulse? You know, this, this uh, anger that comes in you. And, and, uh, and I say, oh, no. And I say, we're going to call it forth. In Jesus Christ's name, get up and walk. And, and, and then the, the people, they were like, well, we don't know what happened. She, she's back now. Another 10 years right now. To God, all the glory. This is what Jesus said, and after he said to his disciple, disciples, a friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but I go so that I may awaken him out of what? Sleep. Can you imagine? If someone from the church dies, he's taking a nap somewhere. If someone from outside the church dies, God may or may not resurrect him. Look at that. I'm going to wake him up. And they were like, oh, okay, we're coming with you. you know. And of course, he, of course he's dead. He, he, he dies. And Jesus said to her, to Martha, I am the resurrection and the life. Now, again, do not put a judgment on a, a beloved person that you thought it wasn't going to say, don't do that. There may be with Jesus rejoicing. Uh, it's impossible. Don't, whatever is impossible for men, is possible for God. Don't become a judge. And I told you, don't rebuke me. He said, hello. And then we heard later on that he was a good man, that, that person I'm talking about. He was doing this, he was doing that, but he was not announcing to the person. He was not uh, tooting the horn, you know. Uh, so, uh, you don't know. We don't know. So, I'm the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live even if he does. Oh, Lord. Calm down. And now we need to preach until the morning. The one who believes in you this is what you say to us. We'll live even if he does. Is this what he's saying? This is precisely what he says. Because when you die, guess what happens? You go into another realm, another vision, another... You, you know, sometimes it is written, and, and I will teach this one day also. Uh, you know, in heaven, there's no beginning and there's no end. But on earth, there's a beginning and there's an end. But not so in heaven. So guess what? This is my interpretation. It, it took me many, many years to understand that. The second you die, you go, boom, who Jesus. How many believe it? You believe it? And that includes everyone. Look, he says, it. I'm the resurrection and the life. Yeah, but see, Pastor Ken, my God, come on. He's talking about the people, one day, that will be, yes, the one day is you going into heaven now. You see, the now of heaven is a, your one day of the earth. It's not easy to comprehend, not easy to comprehend. And I'm not expecting you to, for you guys to understand that. So he who believes in me will live even if he does. And then this is the bomb now. He's, he's, a, he's going to conclude with a bomb. And everyone who lives and believes in me. How many believe in Jesus? All of you. Okay, you ready? Everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. You guys shall never die. Are you, are you ready for that? Do you believe this? God wants us to, to, to become conscious then with the, the reality of we're never going to die. Can you imagine? We're never, you're never going to die. How can it be? 
And then he adds an amazing, do you believe this? Do you believe it? Uh, I was saying, yeah. <laughs> He's so big. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> I mean, that's amazing. So that's the reason why that boy, although, although uh, we thought he was dead, right? He got resurrected. Is it? So we'll, we'll never die. Amen? Amen. It looks like we're going to a funeral. This is not a funeral message, guys. Amen? Amen. All right, it, it's a very simple message this morning, but I, I want you guys to comprehend what, what is going on. What, what is the life with Christ? And, and you heard change are coming, shift are coming. Uh, yes, it's, it's coming to Revelation Church, I believe, by faith for 2022. So we announce it by faith. Uh, and I believe God is going to do amazing things. Amen. Thank you for listening to this message. We encourage you to listen a few times in order to let what God revealed sink deeper into your heart and continue to renew your mind. For more information on Revelation Church and its services, please go to revelationchurchny.com.